Hey there. Today I am trying Banza. It's chickpea pasta. It's gluten-free and it's vegan. But if you look at the front of the box, it doesn't say it there. It says it on the back. So that's actually not a great thing because if you are celiac, gluten intolerant, and you can't have uh, wheat, then you wouldn't necessarily know perhaps if this actually is suitable for you, but because it is chickpea, essentially it is. Um, so the ingredients in this are chickpeas, pea starch, tapioca, and xanthan gum. You need a combination of starches and a gum in order to make sure that all of the ingredients are binding to create a pasta, which you can see in front of me here. The directions say uh, a boiling water needs to uh, occur first and then add the pasta, stir, reduce to a simmer. Simmer. Simmer can mean many different things on your stove. I have an electric stove, I know. Uh, so that was about one or two on the dial. Then it says cook to desired firmness, stirring frequently about seven to nine minutes. I cooked it at seven because I like mine what you know you consider a little bit more al dente. And then it says strain and rinse with water. You don't have to rinse. Think of it like this. You rinse in the starch. And if you have no starch on your pasta, then the sauce is not gonna stick to the pasta as well. You're basically gonna have pasta here and then sauce at the bottom of your bowl or the bottom of your plate. So if you want sauce, my recommendation is, is don't rinse. Just put the warm sauce over it. Or you can even put the pasta in the sauce and cook for the final minutes, okay? So here, it's just plain, because I want to try it, because sometimes chickpeas can impart a beany flavor or um, very green. Um, so there's nothing on this pasta right now, okay? Yep, first taste, you know, you wouldn't know. You put sauce on this, even like the pickiest person in your household probably would not know that um, this is not wheat. If you don't put anything on it, you'll taste that beaniness that you get from chickpeas, kind of green. Um, it's not unbearable, but it's not my most desirable thing. Let's see if just a slight doctoring it up helps. A little olive oil, a little fresh ground salt, fresh ground pepper. Yeah, world of difference. If you're gonna use this and you're gonna like make a, a, like a pasta bake, then my recommendation is definitely decrease the time because anything that's gluten-free has a tendency to get mushy really, really fast. Um, so you wanna be careful about that as well. But this is definitely, it's definitely a good buy because like I said, put olive oil on it, salt, pepper, a red sauce, cream sauce, what have you, you're definitely not gonna get that, that beanie note that you usually get. Um, so it's definitely, definitely a good buy.